It's Friday the 13th, and while those who are superstitious call it a day of bad luck, others say it's a good day to get spooked. And that's why the folks at Heritage Park are hosting ghost tours through those historical homes tonight. That's where our Melissa Monty is this evening. And Melissa, how's the turnout out there tonight? Well, actually, there were two scheduled tours today. Both were completely sold out. Now, normally, ghost hunters from the Corpus Christi Spook Central lead these tours through October leading up to Halloween. But due to popular demand, folks in the Heritage Park invited them to come out for every Friday the 13th, all in the hopes of giving people a spook on this freaky day. Rumor has it the ghost of Jim Dunn, a young boy who died of yellow fever decades ago in the Sidbury house, sometimes peeks out of this second floor window. And some say they've heard footsteps along this hallway when no one's there. We had somebody who said that they saw movement inside the house, even though I had already locked up the, the door. So now ghost hunters check to see if I these spooks will come alive again for a special Friday the 13th tour. City Public Arts but Manager Joe Pena helps lead groups from. through four haunted houses at Heritage Park with the lights turned out. And folks hope paranormal sights and sounds come out of the dark. I think it would be wonderful if there was something that happened. In addition to the education, I feel the educational experience that people get uh, regarding the paranormal, it brings a lot of people down here who might not normally come down. Ghost voices and images have been recorded here before. We did capture a apparition as our, my investigator was setting a camera up on the top of the wardrobe and um, he turned around to walk out and we got a partial apparition that would just followed him. But Prescott doesn't believe Friday the 13th will draw out any more ghosts than normal. Well, I think it's a mist. Um, if there's something that's in a house, a spirit or some kind of an entity, it's gonna be there, you know, 365 days out of the year. With now you're looking at the house, actually Sidbury House, that we're told has the most paranormal activity. And a tour just got through over there and we're told that they actually saw orbs in the boys' bedroom. Back to you. All right.